Lisa mattresses, quick shipping, compact packaging, and fun unboxing. Designed with three layers of premium foam, Lisa mattresses are the perfect balance for cushion and support. Go to lisa.com slash hwc to get yourself a luxury mattress. They even let you try it for 100 nights. If you don't like it, just return it for a full refund. And for every 10 they sell, one mattress is donated to a homeless shelter. Upgrade your sleep and use our code hwc75 to get $75 off. Happy sleeping. Gaming notebooks are all about that performance and that portability. Uh, performance in the relative term co that coincides with the size of the machine and uh, portability in objective terms. Let's be honest, I can fit my gaming notebook inside the backpack easily. Cannot say the same thing about this gaming ITX system that I built recently, which does not include a monitor and accompanying peripherals, by the way. And if you are in the market for a gaming notebook, then I would definitely suggest you check out our video here that outlines all the Maxwell offerings from the 960M, the 965M, 970M, and the 980M. Uh, and I would say for the modern gamer, the frame rates and the performance within those GPUs is pretty adequate. And so we traveled to New York City to check out what NVIDIA was showing off. And up until now, I think we always expected a compromise on performance when dealing with the notebook form factor. But I'm happy to say that may no longer be the case as NVIDIA is rolling out with a GTX 980 for the notebook sector. This means a fully unlocked GM204 core with 2048 CUDA cores, 7 gigabits per second speed on the memory compared to the 5 gigabits maximum on the 980M, minimum four phase power supply and up to eight on some machines compared to maximum three phases on previous notebooks and 50% higher peak current on the entire power system, including inductors and capacitors to make sure overclocking headroom is available. And what we're told, these are GTX 980s that are picked to be able to deliver the certain performance that they expect from 980, but with a lower power envelope. So in comparison to a desktop GTX, GTX 980, it's more efficient uh, and performance variance is about 5%. And to see the performance difference, a desktop 980 with a Haswell 4770K was set up on one machine running Firestrike Extreme and the same benchmark was run on this Clevo notebook with a GTX 980 and Skylake 6700K. Both pieces of desktop hardware packed inside a notebook. And just taking a look at the graphics score, the notebook versus the desktop and the difference is about 1% at this particular test. It's still pretty exciting to have all that GPU power as here is our 3D Mark Firestrack test featuring the entire mobile and desktop stack. Let's just focus on the graphics score and take the GTX 980 versus a very impressive 980M, which up to now was the fastest mobile GPU, and the difference is 31%. Enthusiast gamers could use that additional 31% for higher settings and obviously better frame rate. We also got a chance to overclock the GTX 980 inside the MSI GT72 from 1215 MHz all the way to 1421 MHz, so 206 extra MHz on the core. The overclock will obviously vary from notebook to notebook based on cooling, but it seems the target temperature is set to 82 degrees Celsius, which brings us to fan control, as users will now be able to create custom fan curves for the GPU inside the notebook, which complements the overclocking ability just perfectly. The last two points that are important to mention are surround gaming, which would deliver better frame rate thanks to the extra power of the 980, but I really doubt that's a popular approach with surround running off a notebook. But what really caught my eye is VR application. Just because it's demanding having to render two separate frames at 90 frames per second for fluid motion is taxing on the GPU. And so now all of this sounds exciting, but based on our previous gaming notebook reviews, we've heard and we've read and we've listened to a lot of backlash and the price to performance argument. In particular, the I could build myself a much better desktop for half the cost, but double the performance. And I definitely think there's merit in that argument. And I definitely think the price argument is the sole reason why a desktop replacement argument is not sticking. But now for the performance argument that could change with the introduction of a fully unlocked GTX 980 for the notebook.
Now, what are your thoughts on the matter? Are you excited for the desktop hardware to weave its way into the notebook sector? Let us know with a comment below. As always, give us a like if you want us to review any of the upcoming notebooks with a 980. I'm Dmitry with Hyra Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.